Hello everyone, uh, it's been a while since the last update, uh, since the last one plants have been growing a lot so uh, I'm gonna take a few minutes to show you where I'm at and um, what I'm doing here and uh, what I'm gonna do in the near future. Okay, let's go. So, here's the greenhouse, maybe I can choose, yeah, wide angle, that's better. Uh, so those are the, the plants that I've installed a few weeks ago. Uh, as you can see, they are much bigger now, uh, for better and worse. So let's start here. Uh, here we have our grow stream system uh, with the water right in there. Uh, what changed on this guy? Um, uh, well, I, I've been heading uh, water level um, online check it. So you can see I have two sensors here, uh, one there and one there, and um, they are like in uh, clips. And uh, those guys, they just check. Okay, so we have a nutrient solution getting pumped here. Uh, those guys, they are checking the level. So basically, you've got your bottom lower level and your higher level, and it will um, add water uh, thanks to an external tube right here that is linked to the IBCs, the two IBCs I have there. Those two guys, uh, they have 1000 liter each, they are linked together and they have a pump on the right one. The pump pushes the water on the tube and the tube goes right here where I have a splitter system and this splitter have uh, connected uh, electric valves so it can push water on one side of the or the other when the pump uh, outside is activated so uh, what the system does uh, is that here uh, when uh, we need to put a little bit, little bit more water um, we add one liter per one liter and we stop when we have reached the highest points um, and this system has a calibration built in, uh, so it means that uh, first I calibrate the flow of the pump. So um, I basically take one liter uh, container or a one liter bottle, uh, put it on the floor, and I, um, within an app I've made, uh, I just start the calibration, it turns the pumps on, it fills the cup of one liter, uh, and I stop it when it's reach the one liter mark and after that the pump is calibrated so I know how many liter per minute the pump in the IBC, IBC over there uh, can uh, push so I'm able also to have a counter of how many liters I've added automatically within this setup and I have the same here for this guy so I have the, um, the two sensors here uh, I cannot show you the app at the moment because it's pretty raw um, but uh, I'm working on a dashboard that is more user friendly and I will show you that later on. Uh, so the yellow tube is the input for the um, automatic top off system and uh, you have to also know that this installation uh, it runs in continuous like that, it's a continuous flow. Um, so you can continuously uh, top up the water because the average level within that tank will basically be more or less the same all the time. But on this guy it's an ebb and flow system and on an ebb and flow, um, in this case I've got a pump running like a few minutes every hours. So it takes all the water right here there, pushes that water on the top side which is separated uh, from the bottom. So it pushes the water and the water goes down, flows down when the pump turns off uh, at, at every cycle. So it means that this system um, needs to have a special mode to be able to uh, top off all that because every hour the pump right there uh, of the ebb and flow system will basically empty the tank uh, each hour and you don't want your automatic top off to fill up that system every hour because the pump will turn on, push the water. This guy, if it fills with the yellow tube, when the pump is on there, uh, it will fill indefinitely. Um, and when all the water that has been pumped on the top layer goes back down, uh, you will have an issue because uh, you will already have water here filled from the 
IBC with the yellow tube. So I've got a special mode right uh, for, for this one, uh, for the ebb and flow system. Now uh, let's check the plants. Uh, so we have here uh, pepper plants. Uh, we have our first uh, like nearly mature pepper right here. Um, it's pretty consistent, it's pretty great uh, in my opinion. Uh, I've got a lot of flowers uh, growing there. Um, I tried to uh, fight aphids uh, because I had a lot of issues last year. This is why I've put this guy, which um, well, isn't big, but attracts uh, aphids um, and so protect the pepper plants. Here I also have another one. Uh, I've tried to keep only two main branch uh, and those branches, uh, they will be able to be hooked on those cables for each plant, you know. Uh, so they are um, guided uh, and will not fall. And this is the third one with this pepper. So it's a yellow uh, pepper for one and um, uh, red for the two others. Uh, I also have my cu cucumber plant that starts here. Uh, that goes all the way so you can see I've got a nice cucumber here another one here and uh, also have uh, new ones coming um, and I've made a, a path so that this plant can continue uh, it tried to make a u-turn so I have to show it uh, not to go this way but to continue that way uh, because I also have a cable right here waiting for it um, and uh, this guy already has a bit of oil so if you guys have a, a nice way to fight against this, uh, let me know because it, it's uh, it's a pain and uh, I really want to um, be sure those plants are not second in your future. Um, and here we have our zucchini plant. So the zucchini is like quite large. Uh, you can see all those leaves here and those one here are the zucchini plants. Uh, maybe I can take with my hand. Yeah. See? This is my hand. This guy is pretty big. Um, and so uh, I have unfortunately a few zucchinis that didn't work because the flower weren't uh, fully pollinated. Uh, but I have uh, successful ones here. Especially this guy. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. But this guy is like two zucchinis in one with two different flowers. It's the first time I see it. Um, and yeah, the, the bay. The base of the plants is pretty healthy uh, at the moment. Yeah, I'm pretty glad of this one. Uh, I just have to spend more time to pollinate manually uh, the female and the male flowers each time so that those zucchinis don't turn out uh, to be like this. Now, next step. Uh, here we have the tomatoes. Uh, so the, the tomato plants. Uh, I've got the first one uh, here. So it's already uh, making vegetables um, and this one also right here. So I'm, I'm trying to keep only uh, one uh, main trunk on uh, those one uh, in order to optimize, uh, you know, uh, the plant's capabilities. Okay, it's still uh, adding some uh, new nutrients because I've got some new water in. Uh, so yeah, the, the tomatoes are great. I also have a third tomato that is behind there. Uh, I have a cucumber plant. So this thing you see here is the second cucumber plant. Um, in the ebb and flow, it has uh, another concentration of nutrients if we compare with the growth stream. Uh, so uh, it has a lot more nutrients. Uh, we, can s we will see what will happen, the difference. Um, you've got some cucumbers growing here. Uh, I have one I can nearly harvest here. Um, and all the plants are within those bags to uh, keep the root system, you know, as concentrated as we can. Um, and this guy also have a bit of oidium. So again, if you got a solution for that, I'm open to suggestions. And here we've got, you know, uh, how do you say that? Squash, pumpkin, um, and this guy, it starts, it starts here, it goes all the way here, and I forced it to go down again, and after it goes down, it goes back up, and it continues this way, continues on the floor, and now it's try, trying to climb, 
uh, and also it has separated so it's pulling on the floor um, so yeah I will have to cut the extra branches uh, we still have the same thing than the zucchinis uh, this guy is an unpollinated flower uh, so it results in that but I just have to take it out and spend more time uh, taking care of those flowers when they are open in the morning uh, when I don't have other things to do in the morning and we have the sir tomato plant that is a bit a little bit hidden here but still fine look at it yeah. it's one big branch that I have to now attach right there and when everything reaches the roof I try to put a, a net on those uh, in order to keep the separation between the two because those plants they sweat a lot uh, especially during the night and uh, it creates uh, like a layer of humidity between your plants and the plastic and when they are in contact it creates more issues uh, like this guy um, all right uh, so those are uh, the plants maybe I can show you I still have the same setup here uh, so full pH and full EC uh, management for those um, I would try to load on this tablet uh, which is uh, pretty slow so yeah we have our two kits right here I've just launched um, the first one um, maybe we will be able to see something if I do that or this and maybe I can yeah the exposure going right up um, so this one is for the ebb and flow um, we have here a target of 1.5 for EC uh, we are at 1.46 so we are just okay uh, we can see we had a dip uh, not long ago uh, it was because when I add up uh, uh, new water uh, where uh, it will uh, lower the EC for a while and it will go back up when we do another dosage and here we have a 6.1 target and we are at 6.18 which in uh, which is uh, within the range accepted uh, I have uh, nearly the, the same setup uh, right behind for the rostrum system I only have a target that is a bit lower I have at uh, 1.2 at the moment keep in mind this water is from rainwater uh, so it's pretty raw at the beginning uh, so I'm not trying to reach very high EC um, on this kind of water um, and uh, also uh, for this guy uh, it's written 24 hour pose right here uh, is because when we reach um, pH target we wait 24 hours before allowing the system um, to uh, make another dosage uh, in order not to see your EC increase because a lot of small pH dosages what you want in your water is only uh, nutrients and not uh, pH plus or pH minus so yeah that's it for today uh, in the next video I will try to show you a bit more about uh, the app uh, managing this guy here uh, for the level check up yeah I know you're low on battery and um, until then uh, take care and uh, let me know in the comments below um, what you think about all this uh, setup and um, also don't uh, forget to subscribe it helps a lot put a like button and uh, press the bell icon uh, thank you very much and talk to you soon bye bye